Hey family, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another mommy makeup routine, so make sure you like and hit that subscribe button so you can check out all my mommy makeup hacks. Hey, what's up fam? I'm back, it's been a minute. And today I decided to do another quick 15 minute mommy tutorial because I just wanna see if I still got it. So while my little young man is napping in his crib, let me hop into it. So I've already did a good moisturizing um, segment with my Clinique. This is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So I've already applied that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Just gonna take a little bit of that, not too much, and put it on some of my little spots here where I know where I need it most. Now that we've got that down, I'm gonna jump right into my foundation. And again, I'll leave all this stuff in the description box. This is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And I just do about two squirts of that. And I just apply it all over my face. And for those who know me, you would know that I don't like to look like my makeup is caked on. Neither do I like to make my makeup look like I spent 50 million years doing it. Um, I like my look to be a little effortless. It's still polished, but not like, you know, glam. I'm going out in my ball gown tonight, darling. None of that. You know, I'm a mom, I'm constantly moving. So I just need something really quick. So I've done that. And next I'm gonna use my NARS concealer for underneath my eyes because I know you know your girl has some circles there. And this is what it looks like. It's creamy and it's in the color chestnut. It's a medium dark to dark three. No, I'm sorry, medium to dark 2.5. And I go ahead and I use a blush, a little brush that I had snapped in half, but I love it because it works for me. Um, for me, it just gives me a really good um, blend. It covers it very well rather than using the beauty blender. This is just my personal favorite. I get more surface area this way and um, I'm a little bit more accurate when it comes to where I want to apply this. That's it, and a little goes a long way. I really didn't dab too much. Um, I guess on my face. So after I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead with my Laura Mercier in translucent medium deep. And again, a little of this goes a long way. And I'm gonna take my brush, brush it off nice. Just dapping it, try to get some excess powder off. Yeah, mama's about to go from uh to mmm. Hubby gonna come home and be like, what was you doing that you got old dog that he don't know what's for y'all? All right, fam, so for y'all today all right so you see it gives me this really nice natural look and don't worry about that we're getting to this right but we want to just make sure that we blended that in nicely 
Now that I've done that, I'm also gonna go ahead with my Sasha Buttercup. And this is also a translucent powder. Okay, and it's flash friendly. So ladies, if you know what that means, it's not gonna leave that little residue of white on your face, like a film when you take pictures. And I'm just gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and I'm gonna go ahead and boom. Just put it under here nicely. And then my kiddo looks like he woke up from his nap and I'm only six and a half minutes into my, yeah, six minutes into filming. Not bad, six and a half minutes. All right, so this is kind of where I'm leaving off. And just like that, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right back into it and I'm just gonna do a nice little base coat of eyeshadow to um, my eyelid. And again, just to let you know, again, this is not supposed to be a extra glam look, but you know, it just gives me a nice little color here that I want to look very natural because mama's not going nowhere, but mama doesn't have to look like it, remember? We're doing it from it uh to ooh. Mm. Still have that translucent powder on my face, which I will get to momentarily. And for my base, I actually went to Jovia's Place the Warrior collection, which I really love in the shade of Kano, that's the one that I used right there. So I'm back and clearly I have company. So let's see how skilled I am as a mom on the go doing her makeup, right? Okay, so as I told you before, I'm not really big on my eyebrows. I don't have to do much to it because mama already kind of sort of has these nice thick brows that Jesus done gave her. So thank you, Jesus. So I just use a old mascara brush, literally, that has no mascara on it to just form my brows. And then you could go to your, lo your local um, pharmacy or beauty supply store and get yourself, you know, a little filler if you want to, just to like even out some little areas that just seem like they don't wanna act right. When I'm done with that portion, here is where the skill is going to come into play. I have my Kat Von D Ultra Ink Tattoo Liner, my favorite liner. This is what it looks like in the packaging and then when it comes off, okay? And what I love about this liner is that it's like a felt tip pen. And let's try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and do my line. Okay, I'm doing this with one hand, guys. One hand. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oof. Not bad. Oh. What you think, baby? Mommy did good? I think I did good. All right, so we're gonna try to do the other side um, the same way. So, here we go. All right, so <laughs> that left eye was a little tricky and it probably has everything to do with I'm using one hand and I'm right-handed. So um, <laughs> I had to put him down for two seconds to finish the left eye. Um, hopefully it came out even, but we're back on. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just take off this excess 
powder. What's up, Grumpy? And now we're going to proceed with my waterline. I like to use white because it opens up my eye nicely and my eyes are a little slanted naturally. So I use my Sephora Glide Liner Waterproof. And I'm just gonna go ahead. Hi to Papa. Mommy looks pretty. So that's about it for my eyeliner from Sephora. Basic light eyeliner, nothing crazy. And then I have my NARS. This is my little blush here. It's Torrid Liquid Brush from NARS. The color is Torrid. And I just take a little bit on again. Again, just a little tint there nothing major um i also have my mascara here which is Too faced better than sex i know some people don't like it because they say it's clumpy but for me it works um nothing major hey no don't touch that it's not for you it's not for you Something, 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 something. Hey, cooperate. Cooperate with me. just got a little something so my eyelids don't look bald you know what I mean no bald eyelids over here ladies and gentlemen and I'm just gonna put a little bit of you know uh, I don't even know if this is a good idea right now because I got him here but I got a little bit of um bronzer or highlighter excuse me it's highlighter from Jovia's place and it's called Royalty One by Jovia Loose Highlighter. I don't know if this is a good idea to do this with him. JJ, do you think we're gonna spill this? Please don't, please don't. No, 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 don't touch it. Oh no, stop touching my stuff. Okay, let's see if mommy can do this with you on my lap. I would have loved to contour my face slightly, you know? Cause mommy still has this little baby weight on her and I want my face to look, you know? But you're not letting me shine all the way today, JJ. You ain't letting me get my shine today. All right, so I just put a little dusting on, you know, <sighs> whatever. This stuff gets a little messy because it is loose and, you know, a little goes a long way. And I'm not trying to have Mr. Man over here with his fingers touching my stuff. So, I think this is all I'm going to do for now. I would have loved to do some contouring, like I said, because I want that look. Excuse me, JJ. Okay. I'm going to put my little setting spray on. This is from MAC Prep and Prime. All right, just to get that little extra little glow and moisture, make sure my makeup sticks nicely as we can. And then lastly, I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty again for my red lip. We'll do a red lip today because I'm not sure how I did with the makeup. Wait a minute, wait, wait, you need this. No, you need this. Okay, so let's try this again. This is my Fenty Beauty Uncentered by a stunner lip paint. So here we go. Right, 
So this is gonna dry and become matte. That's my thing. So here goes my face. Here goes the baby with Elmo. Cause he wanted to wake up grumpy. Cause he's cheating. So here goes my face and I'll show you the finished little look once I take this rag off my head. And I'm back. <laughs> rag off the head and this little curl action I got going on. Well, I hope this was um, informational on, you know, how to get your makeup done as quickly as you can while you've got a teething infant. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, please leave comments in the comment section. And if you want to know again the list of products that I use for my makeup today, I'll definitely leave that in the description box. All right. Also, if you want to know how I got these bomb curls going, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.